Writing, sometimes it's easy to hate you. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian Reese. I'm here to help you write, publish, and market your novel. A lot of us have plenty to love and hate about writing, but here are 10 things that made my list. First off, I feel naked without my baby right now. What's happening? Number one, I love that you can do what you want. The sky is the limit. And if I want to write about a dog that speaks Russian and flies, I can do that. This is especially great for people who have very detailed or just totally random dreams because you can pull whatever you want from that dream and even string separate dreams together to make a storyline. You can write about things that have happened in the past and put your own spin on it. You can write about current issues or you can write about what you think the future may turn out to be like. Writing to me is creativity in its purest form and lets you daydream like a kid again. Number two, I hate that you can't do what you want. On a different note, although you can come up with whatever plot lines you want, there are still rules that you need to follow, whether that be grammatical rules or the intricacies of the writing craft. There's a lot to be learned about writing while many of these rules can be broken, it's usually a game of learning which rules um, you're learning about the rules before you can break them and doing so in a way that makes it obvious that it was intentional that you broke the rule. Number three, I love that your name is on a book. Uh, my name, I guess, specifically. I feel like this is one that doesn't need any explanation, but for most writers, seeing their name on a book is a dream come true. Most of us were avid readers growing up and we've always had a love and appreciation for books. So it feels pretty dang good when you can pick up a book and your name is on the cover. Number four, I hate that you open yourself up to criticism. While having your name on a book and releasing it out into the world feels amazing, it also opens you up to a lot of criticism. It just comes with the territory. People will pick apart your writing, your characters, your world. They will find things that may have slipped through the cracks and then they'll just pick you apart. Being an author means that you have to market your books and yourself and putting yourself out there also means that you're opening yourself up to be criticized. Sometimes criticism can help. Sometimes it's just plain mean. Number five, I love that other authors are supportive. When I first started writing, I thought that every other writer was competition. I thought that if they were selling their books and marketing them better than I was selling mine, they would be stealing my readers. That could not be further from the truth. People who love to read, read so many books in a year. And every writer who is supportive of other writers understands this. Not only will other writers show their support when it comes to release day or when you've got a big project that you're working on, they'll also be supportive emotionally. Writing is tough. Nobody knows this better than other writers. So it feels amazing when you can vent or chat or just brainstorm an idea with another writer. Number six, I hate that your friends are so far away. With the last point being said, you meet some really amazing people and it would be even more amazing if those people live nearby. The internet allows us to meet each other in a cyber space, but, and this is me speaking for myself specifically, that makes it seem like you don't have any friends in real life. You just have internet friends. I've met some amazing writers online that I would love to meet in person or writers that I have met in person but would love to hang out with every other day. Uh, but distance is a big problem and that sucks. Number seven, I love that you can write anywhere. Oh, technology, how I do love you. Because of technology, you can pretty much write wherever you want to. Most of us have our phone with us at all times, meaning there's no excuse for not writing when you have a 10 minute break. When I was writing this script for this video, I was doing it on my phone. This means that I can write on my couch, I can do it in the waiting room of the dentist, although I probably wouldn't because I have a huge fear of dentists and I would probably be sweating and trying not to bolt out of the waiting room instead of writing. Or you can write in your car during lunch. You can bring your laptop around with you everywhere you go, or you can just bring your phone and you can still write everywhere, anywhere, and everywhere. Number eight, I hate having to force myself to write. Just because you can write anywhere doesn't mean you always want to. Sometimes you just have to force yourself to write. Many of us struggle in one particular area when it comes to the writing process. For me, that has always been editing, which is usually by and large the longest process. That's probably why I hate it so much. I guess I don't hate it so much. I just don't like it. 
Because of that, I have to force myself to sit down and edit my writing, something that I want to do as a creative outlet and a, that I'm passionate about. Shouldn't have to come forcefully, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Number nine, I love the infinite possibilities. Similar to number one, I love that there's an infinite number of things that you can write about. Because of this, I feel like I'm constantly assured that I'll always have something to write about. Finding that thing may be a little difficult sometimes, but you can take any three totally random ideas and string them together and come up with an amazing plot. Daydreaming and exploring these infinite possibilities is my favorite part of the process. It's amazing that you can just go for it. Number 10, I hate that every idea seems like it's been done before. So you come up with all these infinite possibilities, but then you read a book that seems like it's taken the story right from your brain. If you haven't read the book called Big Magic, you should definitely check it out because it, it's pretty much all about this and it helps you feel better about it. It can feel very discouraging when you think you've come up with the best idea on the planet and then literally a week later, you're watching a trailer for a movie that is exactly what you were thinking of. This happens to all of us. And last up, number 11, because I couldn't end things on a negative note, so this is a bonus one. I love how writing makes me feel. Anytime I'm away from my writing for an extended period of time, when I come back to it, I realize how much I just love writing. It makes me feel good. It's like a release for me and is like free therapy. Even when I'm struggling to write something, I always love a challenge in every part of my life. <laughs> and being able to challenge myself with something that I'm creating makes me feel even better. Writing is obviously a huge passion of mine. And if we take the editing out of the <laughs> equation, I love every minute of it. All right, that's all I have for today. Those are the 11 things that I love and hate about writing. I wanna tag all of you to create a video like this or a blog post or a tweet thread or anything. Even though this isn't a tag, I mean, I guess I'm kind of creating a tag right now. I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. But I want to hear about your love-hate relationship with writing because I think all of us share in what we suffer from while writing and what we rejoice in. That's a hard, what we rejoice in. That's a tongue poster. Click on the link above to go check out my program called Dreamer to Doer. There is currently a sale going on if you use the code ILA30. Until June 5th, you'll get 30% off. This is my program all about time management, focus, motivation, everything that you need so you can finally finish your novel. It's like the first big step. You can also check out my Patreon page for exclusive content. There's a lot of fun stuff over there, so just check it out whenever you get a free minute and see if it's something that you're interested in. Until next time, happy writing.